Good day farmers Just at the farm As you can see The water is flowing This means that And as you can hear There's a pump that's going on In the far upper part of this water Of, of this river Showing that there are people Who are actually pumping This person who does tomatoes At the back that side Which I want to go and visit And see what exactly they're doing They say by going to other farms You also learn a lot about how to do things, when to do things and how best you can achieve things. So we'll be going there shortly just to have a check and see how they are doing. So now I'm at the other farm. As I said, I was going to go cross over and look at what they're doing. They're doing vegetables. As you can see, vegetables, they're doing maize and they're doing tomatoes. These are the tomatoes that they have. It shows that they're doing Trinity tomatoes and the trinity tomatoes are the ones which are non-determined variety of tomatoes that they're doing the non-determined variety needs to be staked and need to be twined so here they've also planted more stations of tomatoes as you can see and these ones seem not to be doing as well as they i think they were hoping that they would do but this is also a sign that they're also trying to do some cabbages. The cabbages, from what we're seeing, there is a bit of challenges, but these are the things that you're seeing that are being done. They're also doing these tomatoes, as you can see, which are already, these ones actually have been, are starting to flower, but have not yet been stacked. So this is one area that they, have, they still need to do a bit of, stacking for them to grow um to go up but the ones that they have done on this side it's they are actually showing good signs that they have been trellised and the trellising that they did was just a simple of sticks and twine and on top of that this is showing that they have almost an acre one acre of these tomatoes as you can see it's one acre of tomatoes that they've planted that they have put on sticks so they say that they've put almost a good um a good i think it was 10 10,000 seedlings that they have put on sticks and we are using the same dam so the dam that we are using for our new project is the same dam that they're using for this project so they have got tomatoes Veg, um, maize, maize they've done one hectare and a bit of vegetables and a bit of cabbages that they're trying out so this is what other farmers are doing which are close by to us and they say that you always go to other places to learn new things to see new ideas and that's why I'm here I'm learning new ideas and seeing things that they're doing that we may not be doing or what we were not thinking of doing or things that we should not do which can actually help us it as it is winter time they are also facing as you can see the tomatoes are being hit by frostbite and we are doing tomatoes but our tomatoes have not been hit by yet by frostbite but the frost we knew it was definitely coming as you can see in this example this is with the frost and the cold weather that we have into these are the disadvantages of tomatoes and what happens during this time but they're all on drip irrigation we will not be always everything on drip irrigation but they are doing fully drip irrigation so we are just learning and seeing how best what they are doing and how we are going to be doing things will be different and better for us so we're looking at his maize the maize we can see that it is now all got three different types of maize the one at the far end he is using drip irrigation in the drip irrigation what we've seen is that on the far side where there is where the water arrives it is very lush and green as we're coming down we're actually seeing the deficiencies of other chemicals that have, are here and we can see that on this far end there is actually a deficiency of water and also that means that the soil also is not that good so advice to him would be actually to add water 
um, to actually just flood, put some water and flood this area. After they flooded this area, it might just actually help this area grow much better. But as you can see, the maize is this side is not looking that lush and green as the other maize that you're looking at the far at the end of that side. But as you say, this is all a learning process. We help each other as farmers. We try to share each other's knowledge and try to understand what others are doing and see how best it can be done.